Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakak, Wadash. All blessings, honor, glory, and power be unto the Heavenly Father, whose name is Yahweh, and His only begotten Son, our Lord and Savior, whose name is Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone who taught me His truth. And salutations to the elect scattered abroad throughout the four corners of the earth. My name is Amon Gabar, back with another lesson. Lord willing to edify and defeat the lambs of Yahweh Bashim El Shai through the Holy Spirit, Rakak, Wadash. Lord willing, this is edifying, quick, straight, and to the point. Now, hey, man, through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim El Shai, man. <laughs> Hey, you know, um, the apostle Ron Lab sent this, uh, this, 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 um, this, uh, what is it? What do you call these? Uh, memes or whatever. All right, it looked like a, a screenshot or something. All right, and then um, the brothers of Car had sent it like shortly after, so I, you know, I assume they probably sent it amongst each other as well. And you know, we was kind of chatting on the text, you know, back and forth briefly, very briefly, me and the apostle, and. It hit me like it hit me like an epiphany real fast, man. When I when I was you know examining this thing right here, let me read it. It says Biden Treasury Department declares IRS will monitor transaction transactions of all U.S. accounts over six hundred dollars. And through the spirit, you know we you know both you know Apostle and myself you know you know that six that six, all right that six. You know, that number of that man, six. Here's his, his wisdom. Let him count, count the number of the man is 603 uh, scoring six, 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 six. So everywhere you turn and look, the man's number is six. Everywhere you turn and look. I mean, from the time this thing popped off, even before it popped off, but mainly from the time this whole C1 on Nueve popped off, C19 popped off, man, this devil been throwing that sixes out there nonstop, nonstop. It's just being more and more revealed. That's six. And it, it hit me as, you know, like a quick epiphany. Through the spirit, Um, I remember way back, man, probably like on 34th Street, I remember the apostles went into that word six. I believe it was either six or sex. But anyway, um, I went into the word etymology on the word um, six. All right, let me pull it up. Let me, let me, cause you know, hey, some things, sometimes certain things hit you with, you know, like epiphany, you know, a sudden realization, even though you already know, but it hits you a little more harder than other times. But also what I did too, was I also looked up the IRS and 600 and certain articles came up. I didn't put in the exact um, title to get the exact thing, but you know, things came up. Let's just say that. So here you see cleveland.com proposed IRS reporting of bank account information upset so, yeah, they want to tap into your bank account information if you're doing a transaction over $600 or more. Hey, I remember um, I was I was work, you know doing construction on schools in um, 2020, and the whole entire hallway had 66666 everywhere because on the floor, I took a picture of this, man, but I probably lost the picture somewhere in my phone. But on the floor, is like little circles, and it says six feet, six feet. Every six feet, it says six feet. So as you walking down the hallway, all this stuff was six, 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 and that's the number to men. All right, but check this out, right? Check this out. Um, yeah, these are just the articles, but let me go to the etymology on the word six in case no one, you know, you new brothers never looked it up. But anyway, the word six. I'm gonna read this. It says one more than five, obviously. Twice three. Uh, well, we, you know, we stay in the obvious. The number which one. Which is one more than five, obviously, 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 whatever. Let me read down. It says Old English, Sykes, six, sex. Sykes, six, and sex, right? Six, six, six. Sykes, six, and sex. It says from Proto Germanic, sex, S E K S. Source also of Old Saxon and Danish, sex. Old Norse, Swedish, Old and Old uh, Frisian, sex. Middle Dutch, sesse, Dutch, zess. Old High German Sess. German Sess. Gothic Sice. Whatever. They just give you different tongues, all right? Now, I think this is where you get to the point. Now, it says, um, from Pi, um, S. Wex, source also, uh, sent, uh, Sanskrit, Sass, S, um, Avestan, um, Kashavish, Persian, Shash, Greek, Hex, and Latin sex. 
that's the point from the latin is sex six is sex from the latin all right old church slavonic sesti polish sex so it says the same thing sex sex and six six and sex all right and what what hit me was this right let's just read it again as it says right here from the greek hex and then from the latin is sex s-e-x and it hit me because the number of the men, right? Let's go to scripture real quick. Let's go to scripture real quick. Um, Revelation 13, which we all know this. And the point is at 18, as far as this particular lesson is concerned. I'm going to just read it real fast. And his wisdom, um, his, excuse me. And he causes all, this is 16. And he causes all, both small and great. A 16, right? Six, <laughs> sex. And he caused all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in the right hand or in their foreheads. And we know what that is. We should know what that's talking about. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark, the karagma, the incision, the cutting in the flesh, the penetration, so to speak, the sex, right? Let's read on. Or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast for this number of a man, his number 603 score and six. And we should know what the beast is talking about as well. All right, but here is the wisdom. Here is the wisdom, especially in these last days. Here is the wisdom. Here is the wisdom in these last days, especially in these last days. Let him have understanding, count the number of the beast, for it is number 603 score and 6. All right, it's the number of a man, so called, um, so the so called white man Esau Edom. All right, which take me to another uh scripture Revelation 14 and 4. I started one, and I looked and lo, a lamb stand on the Mount Zion. And with him, and 144,000, having the Father's name written in their foreheads. That's the elect, 144,000. That's going to be sealed. All right, the seven, uh, excuse me, uh, excuse me, Revelation 7, the 12,000 from each tribe, the 144,000. All right, the men that stood so stiffly for the name of the Lord and, and the Most High and the Son and received palms in their hands and the crowns. All right, in their foreheads. All right, meaning what? That they overcame this earth and they received a new body and they received righteousness. All right, they escaped the second death. And I heard a voice from heaven and a voice of many waters. And as the voice of a great uh, thunder, and I heard a vo the voice of harpers harping with their harps. And they sung as it were a new song before the throne and before the four beasts and the elders. And no man can learn that song except 144,000, which are redeemed from the earth, which are brought back from the earth. Like Yahweh Shah prayed in um, John the 17th chapter that he prayed that the Lord don't take them out of the earth, but he keep them from the evil within the earth that's about to take place on his earth. Point is in verse 4. These are they which were not defiled with women, for they are virgins. Now, what is a virgin? What is a virgin? Let's go to uh, Revelation 14 in the blue letter. All right. Well, actually, you got, I'm sure Revelation 14 will say the same thing. All right. Let me go to it. This is Matthew 25 because it also talks about virgins. Revelation 14. All right, 14 and 4. All right, yes, Matthew 25 and 1 says the same thing. I didn't read that yet, but I'm going to get it, Lord willing. So, virgin, a virgin, a marriageable maiden, keep it down. A marriageable maiden, a marriageable maiden, a woman who has never had sexual intercourse with a man. One's marriageable daughter. Now, again, that's 666. Esau want to stick that 666 in people. He want to sex, sex, sex. All right, he want to violate, he want to rape and ravish these people on this earth by sticking in them because that's what the word six mean. It means sex. Anybody that received that 666 mark, which is the mark, you technically, you technically being polluted, all right, by the beast, all right? Now, what man in his righteous mind is going to want a, a defiled, tainted slut or whore? Even though in, in society, that's what that's all that's left. But, you know, for the most part, but we talking about the son of the most high. He want virgins. The word virgin, all right, as we read in, one has never had sexual intercourse. Now, we all have sexual intercourse. But the Lord is not, this is a spiritual thing. All right, we all physically have sex. All right, but the Lord is looking for those that are spiritually virgins who hadn't, who hadn't had sex. All right, who hadn't had that, that you know, sticking it to them. With the beast. Alright? Because the Lord Yahweh Shai is coming back to take down the beast. Now imagine you got you a man, you got a woman, and then your woman gonna have sex with your enemy, your arch enemy, the worst thing to you, 
all right, as an enemy is concerned. You don't want no parts to do with her no more. And that's going to be the two-thirds, all right? The two-thirds are going to have sex or take that 666, that sex, 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 all right, from the beast. They're going to they gonna get, they get stuck up. The beast going to come and ravage them, all right? Just like how people, you know, certain people will, will, would, um, would slip some type of drug, some type of, you know, get somebody drunk and then have sex with a woman or a person or a man even. Women do that to men too. That's what the beast is doing to these people. All right, he's getting them drunk. All right, slipping that thing up in a drink, getting them drunk, and then he's gonna have sex with them. All right, Esau got people drunk off the philosophies of this world, and here it is. After you don't got a, a person drunk and you want to have sex with them, that, they call that rape. Rape is to take by force. So Esau is literally taking these people by force, and the Lord don't have a covering over them because Yahweh Bashmir Shah don't care about these people. That's that is gonna happen to. You know what I'm saying? So hey, that's why the Lord said, man. That those that take the take the take the um worship the beast, the image, the mark, relax. Take the, uh worship the beast, the image, and take the mark and so on and so forth. You are you are you are pledging and marrying the the, the the um the the opposing force. You are literally marrying the opposing force. That's why this thing is so serious, man. So let me continue on. All right, sit down. Here, hold on. It says, a, a virgin, a marriageable maiden, a woman who has never had sexual intercourse with a man, one's marriageable daughter, a man who has abstained from all uncleanness, all right? That man that have, who has abstained from all uncleanness and whoredoms, attended to idolatry, and so has kept his chastity, just like you would expect your woman to do, here it is, the men of the Lord, the elect are going to do these things. They're going to abstain from uncleanness, the whoredom, the idolatry, because here it is, the 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 um the take you know you shooting the jump shot you you worshiping idolatry the new idol is the jump shot that's the that's hey that's the um that the hey that's a that's a hey I'm gonna be explicit real quick but that's like a, that's like a dildo you're supposed to be a virgin but hey, it is you taking a dildo and popping yourself well then that's like that's like the jab and the real rod is gonna be the the karagma the, <laughs> you know what I'm saying the karagma karagma all right the the mo the the mop b all right the mop b is gonna be the real rod. All right, from the devil, the beast himself. But what good is what good is a, a, a virgin if she pop on herself with a dildo? You might as well you 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 pretty much you're not a virgin no more. You tainted already, man. Ain't nobody want that. You don't pop your own goddamn cherry. You got your cherry pop. So anyway, a man who has stained from uncleanness and ordered him to tend to idolatry and so kept his chastity, one who has never had intercourse with a woman, and ain't talking about a physical woman. The woman is philosophy, and the philosophy is coming from the devil, the beast, the so-called white man's system. And a lot of people are folding to this thing, this particular thing in these times. All right. So, um, like I said, um, Matthew 25 is the same word for virgin. All right. In the Greek. All right. Matthew 25. You know, and it, you know, it stemmed through the spirit because that word six, you know, everything is six. Everything is six, six. And even when they gave us, they gave people a stimulus, you know, that, that, that what was one of them, especially if you had, you know, children and blah, 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 blah. It was $600. Everything is six. Everything is six. So there's Matthew 25, Matthew 25 and 1. Then shall the uh, kingdom of heaven be like unto ten virgins. That, that virgin is the same word. All right? Parthenos. All right? A woman who has never had sexual intercourse with a man, once married with a daughter, a virgin. All right? And um, who took their lamps and went forth to meet the bridegroom. Now, we know the, the parable of this. You're going to have some virgins who are going to go ahead and get stuck get stuck up by the um the beast by the by the by, by satan they, they're gonna allow satan to, to to ravage they you know like how the law if a virgin don't scream and she don't holler for help you know she's just as guilty well a lot these people are willingly walking into this devil's into into this devil's trap his snare his ride to, to go ahead and get stuck up with that six six sex or that sex sex six you know what i'm saying pursuing in revelation at uh 13th chapter man you know what I'm saying? But we know how this parable go. So I'm not going to read all of it. All right? But yeah, man. Through the Spirit, you know, when, when this article was sent to me, you know, just going back and forth, you know, briefly. You know what I'm saying? Um, through the Spirit of Yahweh Bashmi it hit me real fast to do a lesson on this, man. Because, you know, you know some things you know, and then, you know, then you get, you get hit with the epiphany. And then, you know, it, it come out of leaving even more harder than it did when you first heard it, and so on and so forth. You know? So... Hey, that's this, man. Biden's Treasury Department declares IRS will monitor the transaction of all U.S. accounts over $600. Why? Why $600? Why? Why? 
the obvious reason is, is, is because that's the man of sin. All right? And that's another scripture I had um, um, pulled up. All right? And Th uh, Thessalonians 2, 2 Thessalonians 2 and 3. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first. The day is coming what? What's the day talking about? When the Lord's, Lord Yahweh Shah is going to come back and to redeem his, his elect, his remnant from off this from this wicked society and destroy this place, Babylon, and bring in the kingdom of heaven. Excuse me. That day wasn't going to come except they come a falling away first. We have to fall away as a nation. We have to forget who we were. I, uh, Ezekiel 37 had to come into uh, fulfillment. The valley of the dry bones. All right? So that had to happen. And the man of sin, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. The man of sin, sin is Esau Edom. And he been being revealed since the prophets went on the street corners, preaching his word, instant, in season, and out of season. All right, and the vanguards, the head of this whole operation, so to speak, I say operation loosely, but the vanguards of this whole thing that the Most High is setting up is the men of GMS, straight up, straight up, no, no ifs, ands, or buts about it. And I'm not saying that through bragging, boasting, or pride, it just is what it is. All right, you got to prophesy this thing to, to the wheels fall off, man. You know, regardless of the heat, the flack, you know, the people that's going to come up against you and talk shit and blah, 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 it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? So the man of sin is being revealed. Yeah, you got the Israelites saying Esau's Edom, et cetera, et cetera. But you always got orders and rank to this thing, man. And the house of David on top of that. All right? So the man of sin got to be revealed. And he has been revealed. And is being revealed. The son of perdition. Perdition mean what? Destruction. All right? Esau Edom has been revealed. The son of destruction is being revealed. And his, his cover is blown. That's, and again, I'm going to keep saying this for, for a minute, uh, you know, I guess. But the devil said what? Our patience wearing thin because they, they cover has been blown, man. That's why, all right? So, Lord willing, man, this was quick, edifying, straight to the point. All praise to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahushai, Bahashim Rekak Wadash. All blessings, honor, glory, and power be unto the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son. Shalom to the elect. Till next time, man. Shalom.